Hey, I'm Morgan. I'm a huge dirt biker. Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another huge dirt biker video. It has come to my attention uh, that I don't think a lot of people really understand how a two-stroke works, which is precluding them from understanding why two-strokes are so much better than four-strokes. So I figured I'd make a short little video here to explain it in a really simple way, how they work and why they're so freaking awesome. So I got a whiteboard over here. Let's go draw some really bad pictures and then let me show you how they work. I'm going to try to do this. It's not going to be pretty, but I think we'll get the picture. All right. So we got a cylinder. We're just going to draw it like a, this is terrible, but you know, whatever. And we got a head, spark plug, doing a sparky thing. And then we got a piston. And I'm going to, we got a real cylinder to show you too. So, and then we got port, we got a carburetor over here. We'll put the intake boot, because it comes down in here. Exhaust hole here, going out to our awesome pipe. And then we have these transfer ports, we call them, here on the sides. Now, I'm hoping to get this really confusing so you guys just believe me without actually doing any kind of research. So hopefully that's where we're going here. What happens here is this piston goes up, it goes bang, but what, what goes on then, so here's the real thing is once that piston goes up, the air intake comes through here, through a carburetor, or I guess a throttle body on these new ones, but whatever. And then the TPI, we're not even gonna talk about TPI because it's going away and it was a terrible idea in the first place. So it comes in and it goes underneath the piston and then the piston comes down. It pushes the air and fuel. So here, I'll show you here real fast. So here's the intake, air and fuel come in through here. They come in right here on that. They come underneath, they're down under here in the crankcase. The crank is spinning down in here and all kinds of things happening. They come down here below the piston. Then the piston comes back down and it pushes the air and fuel up through these side ports because that's the only place it's got to go. It comes up through these side ports and it comes in, it dumps into the uh, cylinder through See, all right, there. see those ports there on the side. It dumps in above the piston. The piston up here goes up. And then as it comes past all these ports, there's lots of them, it starts to compress. Right where this becomes a smooth cylinder, it begins to compress right up in here. And it compresses the charge, the fuel in the air. And then the spark plug goes bang. And it pushes that back down, making power. All right, let's go over that one more time. Actual piston cylinder, here we go. Carburetor, sitting right here, or throttle body, whatever you want to do. Anyway, air fuel comes in, piston's at the top. You can see, got a nice clean thing, comes in, goes underneath into the crankcase where the crankshaft is. Piston comes down, right? As it comes down like that, it forces that air to come up through these ports, then comes down far enough honestly, to expose those side ports there. There we go. Allows the charge to come into the cylinder. So now it's above the piston where it needs to be to make power. As the piston comes back up, it has to pass all these ports, right? Before it really starts to compress. And here's where the magic happens. These ports on this side, this is the exhaust side, these are the exhaust ports. And as it's coming up, it's trying to push some of those, some of that charge out. But that's where this comes into play. This awesome, sexy piece of metal uh, called an expansion chamber, pipe, whatever. This thing is shaped this way for a specific reason. They're all different shapes for different power, whatever. But what happens is, the sound waves that are coming through out of out of the exhaust they come bouncing bang 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 through this and then they help those sound waves as, as they're bouncing through here they come back towards the cylinder and those sound waves actually help hold the charge in the cylinder as they come back through here <coughs> they help hold 
the charge in the cylinder as the piston's coming up. The other thing that helps is the power valve, and that sits right in here. It's not obviously installed, but it sits right in here, and that raises and lowers. We'll do another video on power valves and why they work and why they're so cool. But then as the cylinder, or as the piston comes back up, it begins to compress, starting right there. It's making full compression, and it comes up, and it's gonna get really close to the deck. Then the spark plug's gonna go bang, and he shove that back down. Now, let's talk about why that is so much better than a four stroke. First of all, it just sounds better, smells better. There's so many other reasons. Watch my other video about why two strokes are better. But the real reason it's better than a four stroke, first of all, super simple, not a lot going on. Not a lot of moving parts, just the crankshaft, piston and connecting rod. Power valve, I guess is a moving part, but it's just kind of fluttering up and down. It's not really part of the stroke. <clears throat> so as far as, as far as actually the rotations of the motor, the only real things moving uh, in the engine are the crankshaft, the connecting rod, and the piston. That's awesome. That makes it super simple and super light. The next thing that makes it awesome is why it's called a two stroke and not a four stroke. It makes power every two strokes of the crankshaft. On a two stroke, it only takes two strokes to make power. It goes one stroke, two stroke, bang. On a four stroke, it goes one stroke, two stroke, three stroke, four stroke, bang. That's too many strokes uh, to make horsepower. So that's why two strokes for a long time were, they made more horsepower than the equivalent four stroke. Nowadays, with all the technology and all that stuff, four strokes are actually making a lot of freaking power. But with that power comes a loss of reliability uh, to a point. Now, Arguably, a lot of the, I'm, you know, I'll admit a lot of the new four strokes are pretty darn reliable. <laughs> uh, they're pretty amazing, but uh, they still they require a lot more maintenance and a lot more care to make sure they continue to make that kind of horsepower reliably. Uh, whereas a two stroke, the oil and the gas is what lubricates the engine, and uh, you change the training oil every now and then when you think about it, and the thing just works. You keep the air filter clean, but you gotta do that on both of them. So anyway, there you go, guys. I hope that helps you understand how a two-stroke works and why they are so much more awesome than four strokes. If not, ask questions below. I'll make another video if it's not if that wasn't good enough. I know it's kind of not super clear. Uh, I don't have like animations and all that, but we don't have that kind of budget here at the huge dirt biker studios. <laughs> So I hope you guys like it. Thank you so much for joining me for another huge dirt biker video. It really does make a difference that you watch all the way to the end. Punk Rock Club, you guys are my absolute favorites. I like you better than everybody else who is watching this video. It's just part of the deal. I, I just like you better. I have favorites. I play them part of the deal. If you like the channel and you want to support the channel, maybe consider going to Patreon. You can help us out there. You can join us for a live show and give us a super chat. Uh, or you could go to highland-cycles.com, buy some merch, or you could buy some merch right down here on the bottom of this thing. It's, you know, anyway, it all really helps us out and make more videos for you guys. Um, anyway, I gotta go. Pop wheelies. Oh yeah, guys, quick little bonus for the video. Let me know if you wanna see inside that van, like kind of the whole like tour of it. I've done some of that before, but it's kind of evolved a little bit. So anyway, comment below if you want me to do a tour of that thing as a huge dirt biker.